Hello everyone, we wanted to give you a 5 minute summer video on how to use the Edison and we hope it's going to be 5 minutes or less. Yes, but we're not going to worry about sticking to 5 minutes, but we're just going to try to do a quick summary on how to use Edison to do basic recording and we won't go over much of the features beyond recording. You want to start the timer? And start. Okay, so first thing I would do is you'd go bring up the mixer. The mixer. Uh, select. Select. Well, well hold on. We got to select this first. Uh, quick, easy way to do it. Control E. That'll bring up the Edison. Then you need to make sure you turn on your microphone. We're going to turn down the volume on our computer. Microphone's on. See that? Levels. Okay. Uh, so then the next thing you do, go to the Edison. Change this from on input to now. Uh, don't worry about changing the timer because we're going to use, this is the record button right here. That's the stop button. That's the save button. That's pretty much all we're going to worry about. Oh, wait, what about the echo thing? Oh, thank you very much. Yes, you see this little thing right here? That is a, kind of feeds it back through. If you turn that off, we found that gets rid of our echo. <laughs> Okay, so who wants to record a voice? I would like to record. Okay, you're going to go first. I'm going to point at you, and it'll be ready. I love, I love, I love you. Okay. That is a nice one. Okay, so we have it. If you want to see what it's going to sound like, we'd have to turn off the microphone. Yeah, don't forget to turn, turn off the Turn off the microphone so you're no longer getting that as an input, and then you hit play. Okay, what do I say? Um, if you, you have Netflix and you, when you press on it and you see a little triangle that's facing right, that's how you um, turn it on and off. Oh, right here? Mm -hmm. That's how you play it. Yes, this is the play button, the little triangle on its side, and the square is a stop button, the circle is a record button. Okay, and then we have, we want to save it. This is a little disk button. We hit save. Save sample as. And it seems to want to default to samples, but we like to put it into recorded. So what we do, we're going to do K, um, or actually it's E, <laughs> love, and saving it as a WAV file, and we're going to hit save. Now, there's a much better way to do it. Please leave it in the comments. But what I like to do is I hit save button again. And I go save sample as, that brings up what I just did. You can right click on it, you click cut, then you can close it. Then I like to go to recorded, you right click on recorded and you say open. And that's going to open not only recorded, but it's going to browse down to whichever folder you just opened. I right click, paste. And now we have a file. So we can go here. We can go. And there it is. And there it is. So let's close out the Edison. All right. And we can bring it over to. And then there it is. Now you can ask I love, I love And now you can modify it if you wanted to. You could. Oh no. What are we going to do? No, oh, it doesn't even sound like. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I think we've done it. We even have a minute to spare, and we're going to stop the video here in a second. So that's how you record in Edison. We have recorded a simple uh, voice recording, saved it. We saved it into recorded so we can easily place it into the playlist. Anything else? I think we're good. We're going to wrap up the video there. Thanks for tuning in. We just want to do a real quick one. I know that I have a tendency to ramble. So.